Howdy y'all, welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft. They're having a real trouble getting this one going. This is probably the third time I've tried to uh, record, and uh, one thing or to other, uh, like the first time, just nothing seemed to go right, and then the second time, well actually the second and third time, people kept uh, like barking out stuff, doors getting slammed, you know, just... Uh, <laughs> just a lot of interference so it, it's just been real hell so uh, some stuff is missing like number one you'll notice there's some like we have an ender chest now and I have an ender pouch and um, uh, oh, we got a gold furnace going over here it's supposed to be a little bit faster and uh, we do have an ore processing upgrade in there so now it will not only smelt, but double our ore. It's like a, um, a pulverizer and a furnace all in one. Um, I got a lot of EMC. I uh, went over back to our uh, roguelike dungeon over there and uh, went through it down to about level three, level four, something like that. And uh, deep enough where I, I found a Enderman spawner. I didn't pick it up, but I did. Uh, do know where it's at, and I got a blaze, and I got a couple of, um, what you call those things, gas tears, so I got a tear, I got a blaze rod, I got a uh, blaze powder, got a ton of these emerald blocks out of a room that was an homage to uh, Generic B, I believe, and a build that he did, so there was a big letter B built in the wall out of emerald block so that was that was a nice little find because those things are worth quite a bit um got some anvils uh, a bunch of stuff and i i made one of these matter transporters but uh, I, you know, I don't have it on me i just have it in the uh tablet right now uh, this thing is kind of like a diamond dolly but i don't think it has the side effects that the diamond dolly does but i haven't tried moving any spawners yet and uh, the main reason for that is I decided that I am going to I'm going to stop building over here I don't want to add anything else over here and until I get a permanent spot and that's going to be over here you can see uh, it looks a little bit different you can see some build over there that's going to be for uh, some Batania when I get around to it uh, well, probably later in this episode, because that's what I'm going to continue working on. But just to kind of show, uh, you also miss me making a little small Archimedes ship thing and uh, flying it around. And uh, with that, we located uh, another roguelike dungeon over here. And then, of course, we have all these little smaller zombie-like dungeons. Like, there's one down here, this little square that'll have a couple of zombie uh, spawners in there. Um... There's another one around here somewhere. I don't remember where it was. But, yeah, we have tons of spawners we can use. Bunch in these things. There's something over here. I didn't see it. I just, it just, it just opened up when I was flying around, but I haven't been over there. But, uh, we have a skeleton spawner in there. That's gonna be, uh, we're gonna use that probably pretty, pretty quickly. We're gonna we're gonna replace that into the nether and uh, turn that into a wither skeleton skull kind of farm. So that's what you missed, and I haven't really gone and progressed any further with uh, magic crops. And again, the bummer with these damn things is they do not grow on fertilized dirt. Um, they do kind of replant themselves though, which is neat. Um, but you, you kind of need these. The reason I'm making these coal ones is I just need these to make the next level up. Um, the next level stone, that sort of thing. But I'm not going to, again, mess with this until we get into that position over there. So when I come back, I'm gonna, it's probably going to be a while for me. Uh, just a split second for you. But then I'll have uh, more done over there so we can kind of move some of our stuff over there the first thing i'm going to work on is an area for batania uh something a little bigger uh so we can kind of have a centralized batania area so we'll be back uh when i get all that done see you in just a sec all righty we're back 
We're back. A lot of people that say that every single time they, they make a cut. We're back, and we're back. Of course you're back. Uh, I try to keep from saying that myself. <laughs> but this is our uh, kind of our new Botani area. Uh, you can see this is uh, this is our starting point was this uh, building over here. And I decided probably the best place was just someplace close uh, was the top of this hill. So I spent a little bit of time flattening this thing all out. And uh, then we added on. What the hell is that? Oh, got a new scratch and post. My, my big cat has figured out where that sucker's at. And uh, he is tearing it up. But uh, so I just kind of made a real quick kind of um, place for it over here. Huh? Cat, really? Shut up. Don't, don't be talking now. And uh, he just wants to be on, on video. He thinks he's a YouTube cat, but he's not. He's just not. The kitten is, though. Kitten is a cutie. Um, so I moved that over here, added another four of the hydrangeas, and uh, actually started kind of running out of flowers enough to do that because that takes three of the uh, cyan petals each to do the uh, the hydrangeas, and uh, just don't have that many, you know, real close around. So, of course, I didn't want to have to go around and uh, hunt them. And, of course, we have a flower in the Lexica Botania called the, uh, no, this is the wrong one. Hold on. We want functional flora. And then we go down here to the jaded armanth or, um, uh, amaranthus. Amaranthus. Uh, it actually makes flowers from mana. So, uh, over in the other area. Uh, this is eventually going to be our new home. Uh, I'm just starting to kind of work on it and get the uh, design down a little bit. Uh, I don't have the ability to fly, and it's really hard to make the roof on this sucker. Um, I tried collapsible blocks and all kinds of other stuff, and I eventually just going with the wedge slopes. But, uh, yeah, I've got to scaffold up with dirt to do all this kind of stuff. Uh, so it's going to take me a while, <laughs> unless I get some flight uh, real, real soon, which I don't think is gonna happen because i don't even think i have that i yeah i no nah, not gonna happen anytime soon but that will eventually be uh, much larger that's just uh, like a corner of it just uh because it'll have two of these there'll be one on each side of it and then uh there'll be like a front gate area here i'm kind of try to model this a little bit like after kind of a, a romanesque type fort you know like uh, the roman legion type forts um, not like they had one standard design, but you know what I mean. Um, so what, needing flowers, uh, made the jaded Arman Ar amaranthus. And, uh, that's this guy right here underneath the, uh, the, uh, drum of the wild. And what the drum of the wild does is when it gets a redstone or a, a mana pulse, it, uh, pretty much harvest everything here. <laughs> So here we have a redstone mana spreader. He gets mana from this mana pool, as well as the our amaranthus, the jaded amaranthus, also gets its mana from here. We have a hopper hawk over here, and it anything that that gets harvested gets put into this chest. Uh, apparently, a skeleton died somewhere around here, but that gives us a lot more. I let it run for a little bit. We got quite a few flowers, but what I have right here is just a red logic timer. And I've got it set to 60 seconds. So when this switch is flipped, it'll uh, every minute it'll start going. And that'll give us time to go sleep real quick. Yeah, it looks like it's getting dark. Where am I? We'll go in here and sleep real fast. And hopefully soon I'll be able to finish up the, at least enough of that fort area that we'll have some, some living space to... Uh, to uh, to move our stuff over there because we don't want to have to keep running back and forth from here to over there. Now you'll see the uh, the nether portal is fired up. I did have to go over there because for some of the stuff that I've made, uh, I needed nether brick, and to get that type of nether brick, you actually need to make nether. You need nether rack, not just the nether brick, which because I had that from the uh, roguelike dungeon, but uh, you need the single like ingot looking nether bricks which you get from smelting um netherrack and that will allow you to make the uh, the symbols or 
uh, runes. So it's firing off. See, it unplants a bunch of stuff. They'll all get picked up. Um, eventually, it'll fire off enough that it will keep this pretty much cleared. Um, just enough stuff will grow that it makes it worthwhile to, to use the mana to, to unplant them. But like right now, we're pretty good on for, for flowers for what we're going to be doing shortly. So I'm not going to collect any more right now until I have a, uh, oh, kind of a collection area, uh, storage area set up permanent like, uh, I don't want to fire off anymore. Uh, we also upgraded the uh, furnace to a gold furnace. So that's, that's good. And, uh, oh, I, uh, upgraded kind of our, uh, what you call it, uh, compressed cobblestone area. I had this, these things are actually really, really slow. Um, so I added two more of the auto crafters and I used, used the, uh, auto crafter 2000 is what these are actually from. And they're a little bit faster as far as EMC. They're about three times the EMC than these. So the only reason I'm using them is they're just a little bit quicker than uh, these are. So to get uh, more of the uh, quadruple compressed. Well, I got a skeleton around here somewhere. Where are they? I'm going to have to go find those guys. I dug back in here. I heard a zombie got a... Big old area, but I've got something else that's like really close. I just can't seem to find it. Um, so we added these three. They're all set up to make compressed cobblestone, which lets this work a little bit faster. So you can see we're kind of getting one of those pretty quick, but still it takes, you know, you can see how slow the the double or the the double comes in, and you need nine of those to make the triple, and then you can see how slow the triple comes in over here. So you can see how long it would take. If I want to do octuple, just how long that would take to just get a single octuple. So until I can get up to the point where I can get a, uh, a condenser, EMC condenser Mark II, uh, we're going to have to stick with that. Because uh, when that thing gets fired up, the regular energy condenser just was, won't work fast enough to uh, to handle that. So we're going to have to get the uh, the Mark II eventually but uh let's shoot over to the nether real quick because i want to show you just what an awesome spot this is the best spot that i have ever well it's not eh, you know what this my pack it's not that necessary because we really don't need to uh to hit a nether fortress but i've just never had one uh within seeing distance before i mean it's it's right there i have never uh, had that happen. I mean, I've had them close, but never to where I could just literally see it as soon as I came out of the uh, the nether portal. Uh, so that's really, really neat. I haven't been over there yet. I haven't explored it. But uh, the only thing I did was come in real quick and, and mine this stuff. And then I got out of here. Now, I do have some ore. I don't know what this is from. I don't know what that is. The only thing that should really be in the nether. Because we don't... I don't think I put... I didn't put your kind of draconic evolution in this uh, so I'm not really sure what's in there so I'll be down the road you know when we explore the nether a bit more um, so no real other updates uh, a lot of what I'm trying to do now is just get a permanent location going so I can get everything moved over there um, I'm gonna finish up that fort and Finish up that fort and probably try to get most of this stuff moved over there uh, into into that kind of stuff. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to cut it right here. I know it's real short, but um, the reason I've been so long in between videos is, uh, you know, my I've discussed medical issues with you guys before. You know, the medication is... Unfortunately, my body's become accustomed to it, and it's just not uh, giving me the pleasant effects it was before. And and uh, the, so the pain is kind of back, and and it just it's hard for me to sit down more than thirty minutes tops. And uh, you can imagine how long it takes to. Uh, it's taken me like two days just to do that work on the fort right there. <laughs> so yeah, don't. It's not going to be quick, but uh, we'll be back next time, and hopefully, I'll have enough of that done. 
to uh, to be all moved in. So, guys, I appreciate you coming by, and sorry about the uh, long time in between episodes. And yes, I have read you guys' comments. Uh, I am looking at seeing if I can get a mod pack together. Um, but honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is just putting out a video showing you how to make it yourself, and uh, that way I don't have to be responsible for trying to uh, make sure a mod pack is updated. I'll just let you know, and you guys can go out and make sure you get those updates yourself. And it's, uh, you know, it's that old adage, uh, teach a man to fish, et cetera, et cetera. So, guys, again, I appreciate you coming by. Hope this, uh, I know it's like I said, not much here, but uh, I, I did want to let you know I'm still, still kind of working on this. And until next time, I will see y'all later.